experienced in harbour. We went and did this walk today. A crazy walk. <laughs> that was so tough, guys. Oh, wow. <sighs> Jesus. Are you still alive? My heart rate is 180. It was like more of a hike up to a place called Whitsunday Peak. It's only two and a half kilometers up, but um, it's pretty steep. And it took us about, it took us 75 minutes to get up, but we were filming, stopping and filming. So I think that had we not been doing that, um, then it probably would have taken us about, probably just over an hour, 65 minutes maybe. And on our way back down, we were in a real rush because we saw from the top that our dinghy was afloat. And uh, we <laughs> really didn't want to have to get wet in this water because um, there's actually sharks in this water. Um, there's been three shark attacks here in recent years, and one of which was fatal. So the last thing we wanted to do was have to like swim out to the dinghy and, and retrieve the dinghy. So we're kind of in a bit of a mad scramble to get down. I'm not f***ing about, we need to make a move. Yeah, all right. Down here? Down, I hope down there, I think down there. Take note, how quickly can we do this? I think about, it took us 40, 40 minutes to get down. About halfway down, we came across a group going up and this was at 4.15, 4.20. Sun sets at about 5.30, quarter to six, and then by like six o'clock it's dark. As we were coming down at, you know, 4.30, quarter to five, it was getting really, dark there was very little kind of light coming through it was starting to actually get really dark in, in like the dense wood so we came across this group um, they said to us you know how much further do we have to go <laughs> anyway so we thought nothing more of it we came down to the beach and our dinghy was afloat in about it was up to my like upper thigh area um, but their dinghy was actually out further than ours so i don't think that they actually dragged their dinghy onto the beach they just kind of anchored it in water but this was only about an hour after low water so the tide and the tides actually we've got a three meter tide today you know that's quite a lot of water to still come in nick and i got back and we've been like trying to keep an eye out for this boat nothing 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 and you know it's seven o'clock now and we figured that we've just missed them and Nick was literally just outside just now and the boat next door yelled out to him any chance you could give me a lift to the beach because um, I'm worried about my, my friends there ashore. They went for a hike and Nick was like, you wouldn't believe it. We know we've been keeping an eye out for them as well. You know, we, sh we saw them and this was what, three hours ago now. So Nick's just jumped in the dinghy, picked up the guy next door. The two of them are zipped off to the beach. I can see a torch. I can see one dinghy. I can definitely hear quite a few voices though. I can hear at least one woman's voice, so I'm assuming Nick's in that dinghy as well. So he's obviously managed to pick her up. There should definitely be two dinghies, they should be ours. And uh, theirs. There seems to only be one. Ah, oh, here we go. I can hear another dinghy. All right, two dinghies are accounted for. I'm assuming that the uh, rescue mission was successful. Hello. It's a boat full of lads and there's one girl, I think there's like 10 of them or 8 of them. The lad that was on board, he's called Aaron and he's like, look, I'm the only one that can sail. They've, they've all been asleep all day so they're full of energy. So they're like, oh, we want to go for a hike at 4 o'clock. I'm like, he said, just get off the boat and go. And, I, and he just said, I'm going to sit and have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. Because I told him the tide was <laughs> coming in. <laughs> anyway, they're fine. They just... They're just, you know, they're just kids. I think a couple of them are a little bit more worried than the others. There's one lad who's like, you know, obviously doesn't doesn't give us stuff. But I was confused about like, could they reach their dinghy? Because their dinghy would... No, they had to kind of wade out to it, and they okay. know it's they they know that this is there's a lot of sharks in here. So, okay, so yeah, they were, he was like, this is a bit sketchy. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like I said, they're all super apologetic and like on the, honestly on the way back, like they're just gassing away. And he's like, yeah, I watched your video on costs. I've watched that a few times. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, all right, mate. So that's twice in one day that we've been recognised. The other guy called us the um, those YouTube people. The YouTube YouTube. <laughs> Mm. 
morning, everyone. We are in Sid Harbour at the moment. Very, very, very beautiful harbour here in the West Sundays. Uh, really well protected from the southeasterly winds. Um, at the moment, there's basically no wind whatsoever, so it's lovely and calm, really lovely. We are heading over to Whitehaven Beach today. I'm not actually sure where we're gonna end up in terms of where we're gonna anchor tonight. However, we're definitely gonna go over to the east side of um, Whitsunday Island, and high water is at 9.30, and we're gonna go through the Hook Passage, so I think that that's probably best done as slack. And then we'll be punching a little bit of tide going south again, so if we can kind of hit that just after high water. So we're here, an hour, five miles to here, Hook Passage, and then we're coming around Just leaving Sid Harbour at the moment. Are we up? Nick's just raising anchor. Are we up? No, we're not. Nick seems to have a problem. Motorford, okay. I don't know what the problem is. We've had really bad luck with this anchor. We've just not been able to get it sorted. One minute it won't set, the next minute it comes off as gypsy, the next minute I don't know what the problem is now. The anchor won't come up, it's dug in too hard. Oh god. What do you want me to do? I want you to go forward. So you're helping, right? Yeah. I think we're moving. I felt it like really. Yeah, I saw it. I can smell bacon. <laughs> So we're definitely not the only ones going through Hook Passage. There's two other boats there right now that we can see on the AIS. So I think that it's going to be pretty busy on the other side of Whitsunday Island today. We've been waiting a while to get the weather to go across, so we're pretty excited. And I reckon everyone else is as well. Today is so beautiful. We've had like really mixed weather so far, but today is kind of like what I expect the sailing the Whitsundays to be. Just like gentle breeze, bright sunshine, you know, like that perfect tropical or subtropical weather. I am loving sailing in the Whitsunday. Suddenly got very bouncy as we went through that um, the passage, Hook Passage, and we're on the other side of the island now, and uh, we're on the east side. With the southeasterly winds, so we've gone from like no wind and flat calm seas to like a little bit of a chop. Just as I made our cups of tea, it all kind of started getting very lively, but it's calmed down a bit now. So. And how far away are we, Nick? I'd say six miles. Six miles. Five, right. six miles. Can we anchor in it at all these bays or just one of them? No, just the, um, the bottom one where you can see the AIS. Uh, all right, we're just coming past Tongue Bay there behind me. <laughs> it is a little bit bumpy around here. If we can't find anywhere else to spend tonight, then we'll go back there because there's what looks to be space to anchor if all the balls are full. But I've got Whitehaven Beach opening up in front of me and it looks really beautiful. Yet to make a decision on where we're going to land. But I don't know, I think that's kind of the fun. Alright, we have a plan. We are going to... It is still quite breezy out here, isn't it? We're definitely going to anchor up and um, spend the day uh, anchored off of Whitehaven. Um, go for a walk. Check out the beach. As we come into this anchorage, one thing that you can't work out unless you're here is that the transit for that cut is now closed. Yeah. So this is now effectively a closed bay. We are protected as good as we as well as we can be. I uh, just from here on it's just gonna be a question of where to put the boat. So I think what I'm gonna do is stay on this course, pull up where that naughty tech is, as in in line with it, and then drop back. 
Well, you're always good at giving a secondary advice on this page, so what do you think? There's loads of space between the Norse Czech and the Lagoon, and I think we kind of just plonk ourselves in there. Wow, as if we don't have enough going on in this anchorage without seaplanes landing left, right and centre. This anchor, I tell you what, it's not the easiest. I miss our mantis, I really do. It's taken like us two attempts, like every single time we anchor, we can't get on the first time. I don't think it's us, but I can't rule that out. All right, we're gonna try to anchor again. Geez, we are not having any luck at all. What the hell? We're literally over sand and it's not biting. No, I'm gonna be at the front? Yeah, that's awesome. I'll put the camera down somewhere. Backwards? That caught, surely? So the issue that I can see is that what happens is that if there's any forward motion on the boat as you move forward, as you drop the anchor, it naturally, the swivel turns around so the anchor's upside down. Mm. That, that's just the way it works. You so you have to have, you can literally have no forward motion otherwise the swivel just turns it around and the anchor, doesn't matter how deep you are, will land the wrong way around. I'm the one that told you that yesterday. No, but I, I didn't. It's only when you watch the swivel spinning the act, spinning it round. Yeah. Okay. So, so you've got confirmation because I seem to recall I floated that idea as a theoretical yesterday. No, but it spins it round I know. and it lands it. But and then it. But because we don't have a roll, a roll bar. Yeah. It won't turn over. I know. All right. All the things. I, I explained to everyone that this very issue yesterday. On this boat, we've got the Delta, and that doesn't have the roll bar, so it just if it lands and it's the wrong way up then it, it just won't bite and i think we need to just think about like how to address that no you're right i'm glad that you saw that because that was that was something that i suspected but obviously now you have confirmation okay so in future for future anchoring on this boat we need to be at like z not underway there could be no movement on the no. boat where well, there could be backward movement because yeah. that does but you cannot have any forward movement right. even half a knot will swing it spin it round okay yeah all right i'm glad we okay. got that confirmed well it's settled as here i know it's lovely isn't it It's just a nice little 30 minute walk from uh, Whitehaven Beach. Gorgeous. Day. Yeah, really nice day. I had a great day. Do you want to describe the uh, the boat in front of us? Yeah, so there's a there's a charter boat next to us. And I'm, I'm not knocking charters, there's some amazing sailors at charter. I don't think there's a lot of sailors. Number one, they've been here all day. Their fenders are still the same place they were when they left the marina. Number two, they have been dancing and drinking all day. Number three, they seem to be like fishing in their underpants. Yeah, partying hard. They're flying a pirate flag. Oh, and their nav lights are still on. <laughs> Well, anyway, these are our neighbours. We've got a uh, super yeah. yacht with its slide. Yeah. We've got the party boat. Yeah. And then we've got us with uh, washing our underwear in a bucket again. That's right. That's right. That's part of life. That's, That's the life nice. that you lead us in Liverpool. Although on River, I see we're having a washer dryer. And I'm very excited. I am very excited. Anyway, I had a nice day today. Yeah, I had a nice day as well. Any thoughts about tomorrow? We've got a three day weather window where the winds are light enough and when i say light they're just less than 25 knots for us to sail on the east coast of the islands 
So I think we'll spend those three days just exploring here. Yeah. And then we'll um, head back around the other side. Yeah, head back, head back to the cut uh, before the weather closes up. The bloke in his underpants is wearing a very, very small pair of underpants. <laughs> <laughs> That's my washing behind me. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, then give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. And I sound like a broken record, but it really does help us if you subscribe. So you can click that red button down there and the notification bell. So we'll see you next week with a brand new episode.